Yeah, thank you, Luda for, Luda, for announcement. So now I'll speak about some practical, practical applications of uh, the model we discussed. Uh, actually, we'll speak about crawling of uh, web pages with this strong uh, recency property in terms of user interest. We call such pages ephemeral, and I will explain why uh, a little bit later. So we'll speak about crawling. What is crawling? Yandex is a centralized search engine, so in order to make a web page accessible to the user via Yandex, we first need to crawl it, download, and pu put it in centralized search index. Uh, and uh, Yandex have uh, a big uh, amount of uh, computers, which, li which just like you goes to the internet, follows links, and uh, tries to find new web pages. So we need to make, uh, uh, we need to find high quality pages in advance, placing them in search index, and we are constrained in resources. So we need to uh, develop an effective algorithm uh, for crawling uh, 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 web. So we suggest uh, in our talk a, a new algorithm for timely crawling and uh, finding high quality uh, pages. And uh, there are two key observations. First of all, uh, many of newly created web pages in the web are ephemeral in terms of user interest. Uh, it means that uh, most of the pages are visited uh, by users only for a short period of time, typically several days. Uh, a good example of such pages, of course, news, blog posts, and so on, but as we analyzed, the most of pages in the internet are of, the, of, are of this nature. The second observation is that the most of such pages can be uh, linked from a small amount of uh, pages, hubs, so we also call them in this work content sources. Examples of such pages are main pages of hosts, also categories on new sites, for example, economics, police, and so on. It's uh, pages, it's, uh, uh, these pages are starting point for your web browsing usually. So our proposal is to monitor these hub pages uh, and uh, to crawl uh, web pages which we found. But it's not so easy because actually we need to divide our resources between crawling of new pages and monitoring of these hub pages. And uh, it's uh, an optimization problem, which I will formulate later, how to divide these resources. Okay, so about our experimental observations. We analyzed logs of Yandex browser and Yandex toolbar, and here you can see typical, uh, user, typical patterns of user interest to, new, uh, to uh, new, newly created pages. You can see that uh, the most of pages, like 96% are ephemeral. If you look, for example, on Black Curve, you'll see that this page uh, was, interested for, was interesting for users like three days. Uh, this one about week, but and only f uh, and only f four percent of pages will have like a long-term user interest. Okay, so the most of pages are ephemeral, and the problem we are trying to solve is important. Our next goal is uh, to formalize this problem. So let me start with <laughs> first definition: it's profit uh, of crawling uh, a web page. A natural measure of profit for a search engine of crawling a web page is number of clicks this web page will gather at Yandex search engine results page. So if user click them, that we find this page in time. And let's denote by P uh, of delta T uh, is number of uh, clicks page will gather if we find it with delay delta T. So it's some decaying function. If we find it, uh, uh, just in time, when page appeared, we'll have the maximum amount of clicks. Okay, this is profit of web page, and the goal of a crawler is to maximize uh, this amount of clicks. Uh, okay, this is an uh, uh, example of uh, this uh, profit of page uh, uh, of two randomly chosen web pages. This is some new web, web page, uh, news web page, this is blog post. And this is a uh, cumulative number of clicks depending on page age. You can see that the most of clicks are gathered uh, during first days of uh, 
page uh, lifetime, of pages lifetime. And it also can be approximated by uh, the following function. Okay, so the cumulative number of clicks can be, uh, can be well approximated by this function. And the profit of web page uh, uh, crawl is delay delta t uh, decays exponentially with time. Where we assume that uh, these uh, this constants like uh, profit and decay factor are content sources depending. So I'll remind the content sources uh, categories of uh, on new sites, uh, main pages of host, and so on. So uh, we can assume that for some categories of web pages, uh, this decay factor, factor is uh, bigger, for some is lower, and so on. Okay, now we are ready to uh, define uh, a, a profit measure for a crawler. Okay, the first measure which we uh, used is dynamic profit of a crawler. It's uh, a pro an average uh, profit of web pages crawled uh, in time window of size big T. Uh, why we use this dynamic profit? Because actually uh, uh, we have a strong temporal effects in uh, a problem which we work. Uh, for example, uh, in night uh, uh, less pages are published, so uh, cr uh, uh, crawler can uh, find less amount of pages. So this dynamic profit is uh, useful for analyzing of temporal effects. But uh, if the process is stationary, uh, stationary we can uh, uh, we believe that if we take a large enough uh, time window, for example weeks or months, then these temporal effects, uh, uh, then we can neglect these temporal effects. So we also uh, define overall profit, uh, like a, pro a dynamic profit, but for a big uh, time window. Okay, so we want to maximize uh, uh, this measure and now let me uh, state uh, an optimization problem which we solved. Okay, consider an algorithm which crawl uh, each content source uh, S sub i, uh, uh, a period of time i sub i. Discover all new link, uh, all new pages found and crawls them after it. Uh, let, uh, let me def uh, denote by lambda sub i the rate of new pages appearance on content source S sub i. Then we have uh, uh, resource constraint. So big N is our crawl rate. It's the amount of pages we crawl per second. When we visit uh, a content source, we first need to crawl it because we visited it. And then we need to crawl all the pages appeared uh, on this content source uh, during the time after our previous visit. So well, this is our resource constraint. And we need to optimize overall quality. Okay, well, this, uh, this is profit of web page. We substitute this profit by approximation. I told uh, about it before. This is exponential decay approximation where we have where P sub i and mu sub i profit and decay factor is uh, is content source specific uh, variables. And now we have uh, an optimization problem which we need to solve. Okay, we used uh, a method of Lagrange multipliers to solve it. Uh, here omega is Lagrange, Lagrange multiplier. Okay, we, f uh, we failed to uh, uh, to find an analytical solution for this problem. Uh, but fortunately, uh, this problem can be solved uh, uh, using uh, bisection. Okay, let me explain. Okay, here we, we just need to find Lagrange multiplier. As soon as we find Lagrange multiplier, we can find I sub by from uh, these uh, equations and uh, ch to check if our resource constraint is satisfied. Okay, it's better to explain it using uh, a picture. Okay, here I, su here I su substitute this function by g and just plot it. So these plots are our, our n equations. And we need, and for each value of Lagrange multiplier, we need to check if our 
resource, uh, resource constraints is satisfied. If you, if you take, uh, if you take uh, very low Lagrange multiplier, this means that we crawl all the pages very frequently. If you take uh, very big Lagrange multiplier, then this means that we refuse to crawl content sources. Okay, so this Lagrange multiplier can be seen as threshold of on utility, uh, on utility of a content source. If uh, Lagrange multiplier is bigger than profit of uh, content source, then we refuse to crawl it. <coughs> if it's lower, then we crawl it with time period uh, defined by reverse function of G. It's here. Okay, so we now we can use B section trying to find uh, a right value of Lagrange multiplier. Okay, this is theoretical, theoretical analysis. And the problem here is that uh, actually uh, we also need to estimate parameters of our content sources. Profit, rate of profit decay, uh, and the uh, rate of new page appearances. Uh, here are the parameters of each content sources and we can use uh, logs, Yandex logs for doing this. We estimate profit and uh, profit decay using click logs of Yandex. And we use uh, rate of new link appearance, and, uh, new link appearance using history information of recrawls. We just used uh, average time bin, uh, averaging time window method for this. Uh, also, I should know that these parameters, uh, for example, uh, lambda sub i, depends on, on time of day. So in uh, night, there is less of uh, the, the less amount of links appears in day. The uh, more links are uh, appearing. Uh, that's why at each uh, timestamp we substitute uh, we substitute estimated parameters to this uh, equation, then solve it, and we uh, dynamically change our schedule of recrawl. Okay, the one problem is that we uh, actually cannot uh, guarantee that our model of uh, is really true. Because when we uh, actually visit the page, we can find, uh, we won't find exactly lambda sub i, i sub i new links. We can find less or big amount of links. So we can, and if we find a big amount of links, we cannot both stick to the schedule and crawl all new pages found. That's why we need to uh, uh, decay from our optimal solution. And we uh, propose two variants. One is echo new pages when we uh, first crawl all new pages and uh, the, then we decay from the schedule and we crawl a content source which decayed from schedule mostly. And uh, other variant is say, says that schedule is the most important thing, then we always stick to the schedule and maybe and we crawl new pages only if we have time. So in this case, we, can, uh, we will crawl some new pages uh, with big delay. Okay. We also uh, add some uh, other algorithms to check to compare to check our quality uh, to compare our quality with them. Uh, the first one is uh, like a, a simple one. Uh, we just uh, crawl content sources in some fixed order. So our idea was to simplify our method in different aspects to uh, understand to understand which of the uh, properties of our method is the most important. Okay, so first of all, we simplified it in every aspect. We just started to uh, crawl all content sources in some fixed random order, ignoring qualities of web pages published on content sources, rate of pages decay, and so on. This is breadth-first search method. Then we uh, turned off uh, a clever uh, the resource division between crawling of web pages and recrawling of content sources. We just uh, crawl, crawl or recrawl content source with probability one and a half. <laughs> then we uh, turned off information about uh, qualities of pages. Uh, uh, we, we didn't use click logs of Yandex. We just used information about history of new pages appearance. This is frequency, frequency baseline. And uh, this, the last one is actually important baseline. Uh, here we didn't use our, we didn't solve our optimization problem. We just prioritized content sources by expected 
uh, expected profit of web pages uh, which can be found at it, ignoring profit decay. We uh, solve them by, uh, by this value, this is expected profit. We, we uh, multiply uh, new pages rate by, by pro average profit and uh, by time passed uh, uh, since the previous visit of the web page. This is uh, baseline uh, echo greedy. Oh, okay, echo. Why echo? Echo stands for ephemeral content, holistic ordering. Okay, now I want to show you experimental results on the real day on the real data, which we got, which we got. Uh, okay, so okay, the method uh, echo new pages is the best. Uh, this is average dynamic profit for a sufficiently large time window when we can uh, neglect temporal effects. So it's like overall quality. Uh, okay, echo new pages is the best one. Upper bound is uh, the method that we, when we crawl each page just when it's appeared. It's like when we have an infinite resources. Here we try different crawl rates. The bigger crawl rate, the uh, lower is uh, gap between uh, gap in quality between different uh, methods. Uh, and echo greedy is also not so bad. Uh, and this is good because echo greedy is uh, uh, much easier to implement in practice. Okay, and this is dynamic profit uh, for five hour time window. Here you can see these temporal effects that the most of pages are published like in 12 o'clock, li like this, and then in night uh, less pages are published. Yellow line is upper bound, and uh, echo new pages is, oh, is, oh, okay, is also yellow. Okay, it's hard to distinct curves on this plot. So thank you. If you have any questions, please ask me. Oh. Um, yes. If there was some event, like for example, this, um, for example, I want to find uh, about uh, Boris Nemtsov opinion on Muslims, but there was when I try to find it in Yandex, I just see the hundreds of pages how Boris Nemtsov was treated. And uh, it seems that uh, this, uh, this is too high priority which Yandex or Google give to news pages. And we can't find anything else ex except news instead of news first. Okay. First and, and you try first 10 pages of Yandex or Google and can't find anything except one message about uh. The same event. <laughs> okay, you know that actually we think that we have a problem because we usually show like not new pages about some events. So uh, Google and Yandex tries to push in this direction and maybe we like over push it. <laughs> yes, because uh, usually it's a bigger problem when you try to find some up to date because it's the mo what the most people want to find and you will find the page about uh, uh, events of last year or so on. So, okay, maybe we over push. Yes. But this is the first, I think, complaint about over evaluation of news pages because usually the complaint is that you don't have any news pages. So. Yes, it's, mo it's much more common. Okay, thank you.